the simple bat. Nature's premier airborne environmental quality control officers. Yet, there's one species of these soaring mammals with a wingspan so freakishly long, glimpsing one in the wild can understandably send shivers down a person's spine. A literal cold-blooded creature so impressive in size, people prefer to call it a flying fox. And when it takes flight, it defines what we've come to know as a megabat. It's huge. So what makes the giant golden-crowned flying fox such a picky eater? Why would entire ecosystems collapse if they disappeared? Get ready for an unforgettable introduction to the largest bat on the planet, the giant golden-crowned flying fox. Named after the yellow golden fur on the top of its head, this bat and its natural crown is native to several islands in the Philippines. It's the only region on the planet you'll find them. Speaking of crowns, this member of the flying fox family claims one for having a wingspan of 1.7 meters. When these wings are spread out, the giant golden crowned flying fox is as wide as Tom Cruise is tall. Add to this the long claws on its five-toed feet and freakishly glaring eyes, and you could forgive someone like Mission Impossible's Ethan Hunt for being a little nervous hanging around with one. If it's an attack you're worried about, Relax. Giant golden crowned flying foxes could care less about humans as a food source. What we do need to remember is they can be carriers for potentially lethal diseases, such as the Reston strain of the Ebola virus. As one of 65 members of the flying fox family, the giant golden crowned iteration has a small head and ears with a body weight of up to 1.2 kilograms. Doesn't seem like it's packing much heft, does it? It's also rare for this herbivore to have a length in excess of 29 centimeters. So what's the deal with the all-natural wingsuit it's been bestowed with by Mother Nature? In one night, this halo-headed megabat can cover a distance of 40 kilometers. That's some serious long-distance travel for any animal, so having a smaller body helps conserve energy, while its uber wings do the gliding. When it's time to grab a branch and get some rest, the wings also act as built-in sleeping bags to help conserve body heat. Those big eyes serve an important purpose. The giant golden-crowned flying fox isn't equipped with echolocation like many other bats. Instead, it packs a one-two punch with great eyesight and the ability to smell their next meal through the thickest patch of mango trees and swampy forests they call home. When the dinner bell does ring, this bat is on the hunt for one simple meal. Figs. That's right, it might look like it's flown out of someone's nightmares, but figs are okay. But this flying fox is hyper-focused on the fruit, seeds, and leaves of the ficus subcordata fig tree. Nothing else will do. They're considered a keystone species for Philippine forests, and they've earned the honor due to their ability to spread the seeds of their meals via their feces during marathon flights. The more these flying foxes poop, the better off the ecosystem they live in is. Unfortunately, humans have been making life difficult for not just the giant golden crown flying fox, but 10 other species of Philippine flying foxes that are all on the endangered or threatened list with it. There are less than 20,000 golden crowned bats left in the wild, and since the species only mates once yearly, with one pup born to each paired couple, stabilizing those population numbers is difficult. And they're running out of space to call home. 90% of lush forests in the Philippines have been wiped out due to logging, mining, and urban development. Sure, they might appear a little ominous to us, but to the natural world, the giant golden-crowned flying fox and its intimidating size is a much-needed ecosystem anchor darting across the night skies. Wings larger than a person, poop that brings life to the forest, and an unrivaled fig fetish all make this megabat weirdly wonderful. It's also what makes them, say it with me now, crazy creatures.